Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I showed you how to install Docker on Ubuntu operating system. So in today's session, we will learn how we can create and run our first Docker image on Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started. First, we will quickly understand what is a Docker image. So a Docker image is a standalone executable file used to create a container. Docker image is also called container image. So if you hear the term container image, so it's same. So Docker image and container image are same. So this image contains all the libraries, dependencies and files that the container needs to run. So in order for a container to run, we need to create a image that will contain all the libraries and all the dependent files. OK. Now a Docker image is portable and shareable. So this is the main benefit of a Docker image. So you can deploy the same image in multiple locations at once. So this is much like a software binary files. So you will create an image and in that image, you will put all the libraries and all the dependent files and then you can port and share that image anywhere. We will see all the step by step process on how to create this Docker image in today's video. So first we will log into our Ubuntu operating system. Now I'm running this Ubuntu operating system on WSL inside my Windows 11 laptop. So I made a video on this setup, like how we can create this setup. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I request you to check that video. I'll provide the link in the description box. So here I am inside my Ubuntu operating system. First, we will check the operating system version. So for that, we can run the command cat etc star hyphen release. So I'm running uh, Ubuntu 22.04. Okay. Now next is we will check the Docker version. So for that, the command is Docker space hyphen hyphen version. So we are running Docker version 24.0.5. So now we will see the steps on how to create a Docker image. So we create a Docker image from a Docker file. So what is a Docker file? A Docker file is a human readable text file, which is similar to a configuration file. Now the Docker file contains all the instructions to build the image, which means we will create a simple text file. And in that file, we will put all the instructions like we will write all the instructions on how to build that image. So this file, which contains all these configuration files to create an image is called Docker file. Now you have to place the Docker file along with all the associated libraries and dependencies in a folder to build the image. Now, in order to build the image, so first you have to write a text file and you have to put all the configuration informations on that file and that you need to keep that file in a folder along with all the associated libraries and dependencies. Then with the help of this, we can build the Docker image. Now to create a container like after docker file after we create a docker file we need to create a container right we need to run the container so you create docker containers directly from the docker image file so with this docker image file we will create and run the container now we will see all these steps practically so i'm back to my ubuntu operating system so the first thing is to create an empty directory for that i will type the command mkdir and i will name the directory as my docker directory one hit enter now i can do ls and i can see this is the directory so we will go inside this directory so for that we can do cd and my docker directory one now i am inside my docker directory so i can type pwd to see the path so i'm inside home user one my docker directory and uh, this is a empty docker directory so we can do ls space hyphen ltr and we can see there is nothing it's total zero now the next step is to create the so-called Docker file. For that, we will use the command touch and Docker file. Hit enter. Now we will do ls-ltr. Now here we can see we have our Docker file and this is an empty Docker file. Now we have to put some Docker instructions inside this Docker file. So there are a lot of Docker instructions for various tasks. Like whatever task you want to perform accordingly, you need to write those instructions or configurations inside this Docker file. 
So for this video, we will create a simple Docker instruction that says, please subscribe my channel. Okay. So first we will edit this Docker file. For that, you can use anything like you can use touch, you can use VI. So I will use VI. So I'll type VI Docker file, hit enter, and then I will edit this file. So the first line I will type from Ubuntu and I will hit enter. So let me explain this line, what this line says. So this line specify that we want to use a Docker from Ubuntu. In other words, it means that we want to use a virtual machine with Ubuntu OS installed on that. So whenever we run that Docker, it's like we are executing a virtual machine in which Ubuntu is installed. So similarly, if you want to create a different Linux distribution, like if you want CentOS, then you should write from CentOS. Okay. Now the next line will be CMD space, then echo and then the instruction or the message that we want to display. So I want to display, please subscribe my channel and we will close the bracket. Okay. So now let me explain this line. Now using CMD, you can write your own instructions. Like here, I mentioned, please subscribe my channel. So this is the format. You need to write a Docker file. Okay. So this is a very simple Docker file. In our upcoming videos, we will create and we will see more complex Docker files for various tasks. So now we will save this file and we exited from the file. Now, if we want to see the content of the file, we can see cat and Docker file. So here you can see this is the content, like whatever instructions we have written inside this Docker file. We have our first Docker file created. Now the second stage is to create the Docker image. So as I explained earlier, we create the Docker image from a Docker file. So I will show you how to do that. So we need to execute this command to create the Docker image. And the command is sudo docker build hyphen t and the name of the Docker image. So I will name this Docker image as my first Docker image and then space and then dot. So this is the name of my Docker image and the dot at the end specify that we want to use the content of the current directory. So we will hit enter. And now see, we have our first Docker image installed successfully. So you can see this successfully built and then successfully tagged my first Docker image latest. Now to see all the Docker images installed on our operating system, we can execute this command sudo docker images. So hit enter. Now we can see we have our my first Docker image created and it is created two minutes ago. So now the third step is to run this Docker image. So for that, we will execute this command. So I will clear the screen. So the command to run a Docker image is sudo docker run and the Docker image name. So our Docker image name is my first Docker image. Hit enter. So we can see after executing this command, the instruction in the Docker file is executed and we can see the message, please subscribe to my channel. So which means my Docker image is working perfectly. We will see another command. The command is sudo docker ps hyphen a. So what this command does is it will show you all the containers that has been pulled or created so far on your Ubuntu machine or on your Linux machine. So here I can see there are four images for my first Docker image. So which means I ran this Docker image four times. So we can see the timings. 
So the first is nine minutes ago, then four minutes ago, then two minutes ago, then 33 seconds ago. Okay. And all the status is showing exited, which means this Docker containers are no longer running. So if you want to see the Docker containers that are currently running, then you need to run this command without minus A or hyphen A. So I will hit enter. And now we can see there are no containers currently running on my system. Next, I will show you how to delete containers. So in order to delete a container, the command is very simple. You need to type sudo docker rm space and the container ID. So from here, you will get the container IDs. So here I am having four containers. So I will select the first container ID, copy, and then I will paste and then hit enter. So now you see, if I run the command doc, sudo docker ps hyphen a. So here we go. So here I can see my first container has been deleted. So I'm having only three containers now. So similarly, if I want to delete all the containers, then I have to repeat this step again. So I will type sudo docker rm and then the second container ID. I will copy it, I will paste it and hit enter. Again, I will run sudo docker ps hyphen a, hit enter. Now we can see we are having only two containers. Next, I will show you how to delete a Docker image. For that, first we will list all the Dockers on my Ubuntu machine. So for that, the command is sudo docker images. So here we can list out all the images on my machine. So I will, I want to delete the my first Docker image. So for that, the command is sudo docker rmi. So I stands for image and space and then the image ID. So from here, I will copy the image ID and then I will paste it here and then hit enter. Now see, there is an error. It says error response from daemon conflict unable to delete this image because image is being used by stopped containers, which means this image is used by a container. So always remember in order to delete a image, we need to first delete the containers associated with that image. Once you delete all the containers, then only you can delete the image. So we will delete all the containers associated with this image and then we will delete this image. To delete the containers, we already know the command that we need to run. So the command is sudo, then docker, then rm and then the container id. So here is the container id. I will copy it and then I will paste it here enter and then again I will repeat the step with the container ID of the last and then paste it here enter to verify that all the containers are deleted we will run the command sudo docker ps hyphen a so we don't have any containers running so now next we will delete the docker image for that first we will list the docker images so the command is sudo docker images now I will delete the my first docker image. So for that the command is sudo docker rmi. I stands for image as I already mentioned. So then space and then the image ID. So from here I will copy the image ID and I will paste it here and then hit enter. So you see untagged. So my first docker image is untagged and then deleted. Now to verify this I will again run the command sudo docker images. Now see we have only one image left on our Ubuntu machine. That is the Ubuntu and the my first Docker image has been deleted. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. This will motivate me to create and bring more such useful content. Till then, keep learning, keep practicing, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.